What is your real name? What is your favorite color? How would you describe yourself? What is your type in men? What is your height? Hey guys, how are you? I believe you're doing good and welcome to my channel. So you guys, yesterday, in the last video, I asked you guys about what I should post. And thank you so much for you guys who came through, came to watch my video. Uh, yesterday, I also went to my Instagram to ask you guys, ask me any question. And I'm so glad that many of you came out and texted me questions they wanted to know. So I wrote those questions down. As you can see, I have them. I have 25 questions with me. And that is basically just you wanting to know me and me wanting you guys to know me. Before we start, please subscribe, okay? Our first question is, um, what is your real name? So guys, um, my real name is Edifin Maloba Juma. And yeah, that is my real name, Edifin Maloba Juma. Then the second question is, what is your background? Um, I come from a very humble background and I'm so glad that my parents, they struggle so much for, to make sure that I have what I have right now and that I am what I am now. But my parents will make an effort of making sure you have that. So I'm, I'm glad that um, my parents made sure we at least go to school with our uniforms on. Though we had challenges actually, I come from a family of 10, so you can imagine. Those days, um, we were many, and let me say we were many, and finances were few. It was so hard for my parents to take care of us. And my parents made sure we don't go hungry. <laughs> let me say that. And I'm also, guys, I was a public school, I was Baby class, baby class, I'm assigning a grade, let me say baby class, those days. And I could go to school without shoes. I could, we could sit down, we write on the ground. Tuna andika chini, kama ni namba ni wana, andika apu tichana, kujana mark. So, it was, I grew up in that way, like, nigeenda um, shule bila viyadu. I used to be in the end of school, and I have to go to the magic. I'm going to go to the magic, my friend. I reduce the end of So, na saw my dear Nenda to mop our classes. But in my lower prime, I was sitting down in our school. We don't have, we didn't have at Madarasa Mingi. So, but we baby class now, eh, to call Nakachi, a punkwa empty. Zakso mam nenda. And then you can get class one at least nika ka kwa kwa flow at least kwa flow but ni dan ya class. And then can delay for class three. <laughs> at least class three, you figure class three at least kuna ma desk. So at least pia class three na za to me a pen. But baby class we kuna dika tu kwa kwa chini amti ya po kwam changa. And then I was in a public school, remember? My dad was Farishwa Kakuja LD. Now we had to move together with him. Toka Bungoma Adi and Dorit. That is how I grew up and that is how I came from. A public school to a private school, Nikwa Primary. And then after that, we came to high school, boarding. Thank God for my parents. And then campus. So my background has been a very humbling one and it has made me always work hard you always go for the best so yeah that is how i grew up yeah so guys um the third question is what is your favorite color i love black the better black but surprisingly nikona go fuse up but the penda mtu akiva black Napenda pia nikiva black because I feel like I'm more confident in black. So my favorite color is black. The fourth question is how would you describe yourself? Let me say a dedicated, funny, and um, I don't take life serious. Like that serious. Because if you make life serious, you never find fun in life. 
complicated, goal-oriented, and I'm just doing life here. And the fifth question is, what is your height? Um, siko mrefu, siko mfupi, niko in between. So, <laughs> but niko five one, five one, five one, five foot five. Five, ni five foot one. I don't know about Nico. Five one. And then the sixth question is, what college did you go? Um, I went to Kenyatta University. I took a uh, business management. Yeah, that was my college. Then the seventh question is, what is your type in men? I won't say I have a type, but... I prefer somebody that has the same sense of humor that I have. I prefer somebody that laughs at my jokes. <laughs> somebody that finds me funny. Yeah, let me say that. Somebody that has goals and um, somebody that is already doing their life, like being themselves and I've been up here too funny by the way. Guys. So the eighth question is what is your new year resolution? So my new year resolution is just to do life, be good to others and just make people happy, be impactful to others and um, I just want to be of impact wherever I go and whatever I do. That is my new year resolution. Yeah, and I just want to be happy. Let me say that. Number nine, guys. The number nine. When is your birthday? My birthday is on twenty second of June. Blah blah blah. Twenty <laughs> second of June. Yes, this year twenty twenty four. Yeah. The tenth question is: uh, What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is the future. I really fear about future because sometimes I do want to take bold steps, but again, I'm like, what if it doesn't happen? And what if it happens? How will it? How will I handle that thing when it happens? So sometimes I go back to make decisions because of the fear of unknown. That is the biggest fear I have. Fear of the future, like, how will my future be? Will it be a mess or will I be successful? And if I'll be successful, how will I manage the success? Yeah, so that is the fear I have. My 11th question is, who is your favorite artist? Um, I'm just a male, I'm a female. In Kenya, my favorite artist is, I feel like, really poor. Willie Paul Anajitumakasar. He's the most hardworking ha- artist. Despite the chasing and the shenanigans, I feel like that guy is the best. Is the best, and he knows what he does. And he puts so much effort in his year to recognize in it. So he's among the best artists that I have on my list. And yeah. That is my favorite artist. So this 12th question is, what type of music do you love? Guys, I don't have a preference. Seen a preference? Yeah, music. I do love good music. Good music that is good to the ear, to the soul, and in my heart. I don't like music. I don't like... Too noisy music. I just love cool music, music that I can understand, the music that I can listen to, all my situations, whether sad, happy, working. I don't have a preference, but I love good music. Thirteen is, what is your dream job? Guys, my dream job is... Do I have a dream job? Let me say maybe a dream career. I always wanted to be an accountant when I grow up. I also wanted to be a lawyer when I grow up. 
and I also wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to help people because in these hospitals, nenaga mtu na ako na attitude. So unapata at the end of the day, most of the people get out not treated. Some die, and some even get even more worse conditions. So when I was young, I really wanted to be a doctor. To be the voice of those patients when you want a pesa, you want a salt. Also, I also wanted to be a lawyer because I feel like there are so many cases happening up at Chini that people don't take serious. So I wanted to be a voice for the voiceless and for the vulnerable. And when I say an accountant, I mean, I really wanted to know where does money come from, where does it go, and what does money do? and how do you how do you not sort as it how do you not go broke that's a much how do you <laughs> uh, how do you maintain your status wherever you are whether high class low how do you maintain that with money yeah so those are my best career that i wanted to take it and maybe in the future our 14th question is what do you want to be in the next 5 years Guys, I don't want to say big, big things, but I want to be those careers I have been. But I want to be an impact to the society in the next five years. I want to be the person that when I get out there, people, when they see me, they see happiness. They feel the impact that I have left for those five years. So that is who I want to be. I want to be, I want to be a testimony in the society. I just want to help people. Make them happy because I believe when I make someone happy, I also make myself happy. So yeah, that is what I want to be in the next five years. Number fifteen, guys. Me, would you do YouTube full time? Um, let me say maybe in the near future, but now I'm taking it as part time because I have a lot of things on my table. I just want to go with the pace of the YouTube. I don't want to rush into things, but I want to go slow. I want to put my heart where it wants to be. I don't want to force myself somewhere because I wouldn't enjoy it. So I would maybe sometimes, but not now. Yeah, number 16, guy's name. How many languages do you speak? Kenya, I speak English. And uh, I speak Swahili. I speak Luya. So I speak those three languages. Yeah. Number seventeen. How do you stay motivated? Okay, whatever I've gone through, maybe challenges in the past. When I look back from those challenges, I see how I overcame. And when I have a challenge now, I know in the future I'll also overcome. So that is how I stay motivated. I stay in this way, like. My background keeps me motivated. My family keeps me motivated. My life keeps me motivated. Yeah. Number 18 is which movie did you just conclude? Me, Young Sheldon. <laughs> that is the movie you may just watch in a few. Like yesterday, Mimanza Jan. Yeah. I love that movie. It's educative. And yeah, I go to learn. How to be a mother, how to do life, and how to be smart. Yeah, young children. Number 19 is, are you different from social media? If you're asking me, come on, social media versus real life. Guys, I am like this. Now, even though Nico, to keep it barabara. I am not different from social media. I am not different. I am not different from social media. I'm just... Me, the way I am now. But 20 is, um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have seven. Guys, seven. One, two, what is seven? Seven siblings. I am the second born, and I have seven siblings. Tukowengi. Kitaka kura mkudia kwetu. Tuneza wapea zote na mshinte. Number 21 is, why did you start YouTube? Guys, I started YouTube because I just wanted to document my life. I just wanted to have a testimony 
of my journey and I just wanted to watch myself grow from this woman to this woman to this woman and from this person to this person. So yeah, it's not my career, but I just wanted to do life with YouTube, document my life and have an archive of my life. Number 22 is um, what is your challenge in YouTube? My challenge is guys posting consistently that is one consistently hey hey i have run even out of ideas um, another challenge is editing editing videos because software is minky and i haven't as again i have to pay so let me say it, i don't have that money to pay those the best software that we edit and another challenge is guys shooting without uh Ring lights without lights. That is a challenge I have, but in future, I want a ring light. <laughs> you can imagine positioning as you are falling, you in a very bit better position. Size is on the vineyard maker, but yeah, it's very weird. So, that is the challenge I have. Challenge I have is uh, positioning my camera, positioning my phone. What is your dream country? Mm -hmm. My dream country is US. Let me say US. I believe US is like Kenya. The rules that are there, they are accommodative. And there is at least freedom in that country. So I believe it's my dream country. The best state in the US. Number, the second last question is introvert or extrovert i am both depending on occasions but i by the way i am both depending on the situation let me say that number 26 is do you want kids if so how many kids yes i want yeah of course, I want to have kids. And four. Maybe four girls. Uh, no, four girls, four boys. Two boys, two girls. And mixture. But I just want four. Because of that. <laughs> then the last question is, um, would you prefer indoors or outdoors? Indoors or outdoors? I love indoors. I don't know why, but I just love indoors. If I go out there, I'm always learning to go back to my house and have some peaceful, quiet time. I spend the indoors because I get to do things that I want in my house. But also, I love outdoors because I get to network, to explore, and to know things that I never know. Yeah. So, guys, that was the last question. So the last question, and uh, it was so good engaging with you guys. It was very good. <laughs> talking to you and answering my questions and i hope by so far you guys have known me have known the kind of person i am yeah. it was so good encouraging it was so good engaging with you guys thank you so much and please subscribe and tell me something that you want me to post in the next video you want to see in the next video thank you guys and please subscribe subscribe comment something like share let us do life together bye it was nice talking to you guys